What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Anna Tran and today I am taking you through my Vancouver slash Whistler vlog. Enjoy! Guys, let me tell you about my flight to Vancouver and <laughs> the story. Um, oh God, I don't even know where to start. It was really early and we're on our way to Vancouver. Me and my boyfriend Brandon and Hayden, my roommate, is driving us. Takeoff day, it is 7 a.m. Brandon's trying to AT ribbon. <laughs> How tired are you right now? I worked on the rental property until 1 a.m. and then slept until 6.30. Ready to go. And the boys are watching me. Don't we have a flight to catch? Wow. Get you a man's like Bran. Thanks for getting the door. Oh yeah, no problem. She's busy vlogging. You excited to have the house to yourself again? Oh, it's gonna be fun. So right when we get to like the halfway point going to the airport, now I'm about 25 minutes away from the airport and it's early in the morning, it's like 6 a.m. And I realize I forget my phone because why? I am vlogging on the way out and I am a newbie at vlogging. So what do I do? I am carrying my camera around instead of my phone and then I realize I don't have a phone. Going to the airport, I forgot my phone at home and somehow lost my mask in here. There's no way we're gonna make our flight because we're kind of like pushing it a little tight because Ottawa airport's really, really quick to go through. So I'm like, you know what? Just drop us off at the airport and you can like express ship my phone to me and I'll get it the next day. And like that makes me kind of anxious because I do work on my phone, um, but I have my laptop and as long as I'm connected to Wi-Fi, anything, iMessage will go through and I'm like, this might be the worst case because we're not gonna miss our flight. All the flights to Vancouver are super full this summer because basically everyone from Ottawa, Toronto, Ontario has been booking flights to Vancouver because they're so cheap. I booked my flight to Vancouver for like $200 which is crazy because usually flights to Vancouver are upwards of 800. Backtrack the story. I get to the front desk and I'm like, we forgot, like I forgot my phone. And I'm like, is there any way Hayden can drop off the phone to like a flight attendant there and they can bring me my phone after the gate? And he's like, well, he could probably make it back home and back with my, and back to the airport with my phone. So fucking Hayden, love him, he's a G. So he actually drove, not only did he drive us to the airport, he drove back home, grabbed my phone and drove back to the airport and we got in the gate and we had like two minutes to board. That was just getting to Vancouver. We get on our flight and we didn't vlog anything in Vancouver because then I had like PTSD and I'm like, I'm not vlogging and forgetting my phone somewhere. And not only that, but all we did in Vancouver was we got there, we helped my sister move and we ate. All we did was eat so much food. <laughs> Real bulk of what I vlogged after I got over my PTSD was going to Whistler. Oh my God, the drive was stunning. We are on our way to Whistler today. We are just picking up coffee first. We're probably going to stop by, what's it called again? The suspension bridge yeah. and North Van since we have a car today to drive around a little. And then we're going to check in. We have a three hour food walking tour. That'll be really fun. I'm excited. We're going to like five different restaurants. So we're gonna be really, really full. So full that we're gonna, we actually canceled golf today. Thanks for picking uh, up the car, Brandon. <laughs> I don't know where this coffee place is. We have retrieved the goods. I got an Americano, he got an Americano with milk. Your breakfast sandwich has bacon avocado from Fraser Valley, stay local. And it's avocado. Mm -hmm. Take the first test. bite. One bite, everyone knows the rules. How's that? Mmm, one out of 10. Mmm, let's say eight and three quarters. Mmm, what could they do yeah. better? Actually, I don't know. It's really good. I just feel uncomfortable giving a nine or a 10 because you gotta save that when you know. When you know, you know. All right, I'm gonna try mine. Then we're off to the races. Oh, the cheese looks really good. Mm. Rating? Pretty good. Tastes a little too burger for me too, though. There's like ketchup and stuff into the burger bun. I don't know if I'm about it. Yeah. 10 times better. Yeah.
for Christmas. I actually got a gift card from my mortgage broker to any Fairmont in North America. So I was like, we have to book the Fairmont there because if you look at photos, maybe you can insert photos of the Fairmont. It's like a castle in the hills and it looks so stunning. So I'm like, okay, we have to go to the Fairmont and we're only staying there one night. Made it to Whistler. We made it. All right, we're out of here. Ooh, old that? floor, private check-in. Let's see how this goes. Old elevators. I'm so glad. There was like a massive line too. Yeah, that actually worked out really well. <laughs> Good thing we asked them or I would have just waited in line. Yeah. Bag mule. You excited? Yeah, I am. Looks super nice here. Kind of like not super modern, but that's what we want. Are you excited to have Wi-Fi and air conditioning? <laughs> just air conditioning. Okay, reception. Here we go. one of these before? Uh, no. Okay, okay. so it's simple but not at all intuitive. So I'll just <laughs> take the first one for you and Thank you. narrate. Awesome. So, <laughs> yeah, if it's down there, it'll like splash a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's cool. um, So Pod goes in. There we go. Then you pull the lever and then you make your selection. Um, Thanks so much. Great. My pleasure. Enjoy. I'm going to do like an espresso, probably a double espresso. It's me, round and balanced. Oh, We're gonna have a good time. So we booked the Fairmont Gold package. So basically a difference between like a Fairmont room and a Fairmont Gold, you have a like private entrance, a, you have a private check-in, you go in like, I don't know if I have a clip of this, I think I do, but you have like gold elevators that bring you up to the higher floors, the executive floors at the Fairmont, and they do a private check-in. You have your breakfast there like all day, like coffee, so fabulous if you could stay at the fairmont gold do so it is a great experience what we had booked is we had booked a three hour walking food tour to try about five different restaurants in whistler and we had booked golf right after and we're like you know what like we're gonna be in no condition to be golfing so we canceled golf we are going to weston for a food tour you excited for a food tour yeah i am not we, that hungry, but yeah, we're like never hungry, but always eating. And we are meeting up at our first location at what's it called again? Like Fire. Oh, Fire Rock. Fire Rock at the Westin, and we have a three-hour walking tour for lunch. Wait, we're meeting at the Fire Rock or the Westin? Uh, the Fire oh, Rock's at, at the Westin. Westin yeah. Yep. So it's a perfect weather though. It's like warm, but kind of like a little breezy versus like. Vancouver was super humid. Yeah, it was really hot. The check-in was cool though. Then we're gonna go up the black comb. At the West End Fire Rock Hotel. Excited to try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So back to the story, we canceled golf and thank God because our walking tour ended up being like four or five hours. And basically everyone else, like there's like 10 year olds on the walking tour and it was a bachelorette party. And these girls were super freaking fun. Um, like I just, oh, great energy. We're like drinking on every stop and just having a great, great time. Um, and it'll, we'll insert some clips uh, for the walking tour. What's, what's your, what's your camera pet? How does the truffle butter honey smell? Mm. Smells delicious. Mm. Truffle butter and honey. Great description. <laughs> yeah, we're waiting for our wine because it's just, you can't eat without the wine. Never. <laughs> like, what the hell? What is my wine? Yeah, where is our Chardonnay? <laughs> Cheers. 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 <laughs> Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. That's really, that's good. really good. Yeah. Like, I really needed this vacation. <laughs> so happy I went here, yeah. Yeah, me too. Well, that's our salted caramel. Yeah, Stop really number. Let's try one more street here. Like, the best thing. You don't want it. No. Five I know. What flavor is it? Salted caramel. Oh, yum. yum. How do you like it? How about you? Yum. Do you like it? Yum. What do you guys think of it? Is it good? Is it good? Okay, 
walking tour. We get back to our room, what do we do? We eat more. <laughs> then we had dinner reservations at Araxi, which is Gordon Ramsay's restaurant there. Afternoon snacks before our dinner. You're gonna pop the bottle, quick room tour. Okanagan Valley, hashtag buy local. Tell us about the wine. It's a crisp 30 year old Pinot Blanc. In the traditional way, uh, we allow wine to extend, I don't know what this says. Okay, great. It sounds delicious and 11 labor since 1925. So. Nice. Cheers to that. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> Pre dinner uh, snacks, lots of bubbles. Uh, bubbles. <laughs> All right, cheers to our first night, Whistler. Cheers. So we went to Squamish and went to the Sea to Sky uh, gondola, which was really fun. Only like your group in the gondola, so it's nice you don't have to share it with other people. It's a little warm in there, um, but up there it was freezing. So we asked the guys, we're like, should we bring a sweater? He's like, no, it's hotter up there than it is down here. Perfect. So we got up and we had some nice drinks there, enjoyed the view. Excited? Yeah, pumped. Good to see the view. Today so we're doing the Sea to Sky Gondola yeah, and. like not sure if it would be colder at the top but apparently it makes it's, sense that it's hotter I guess but I guess it's warmer it's tough because like we're seeing hills that are fully green and then we're seeing some with like snow on top oh here we go what are your thoughts on the snow caps they nice you can see it over there general thoughts on heights you're not too long, me. <laughs> okay, maybe don't stand close to the door. Yeah. I'm concerned. This is stressful. This is a stressful ride, not gonna lie. It's supposed to be stressful, yeah. Terrible. Oh yeah, and on our way back, on the gondola, it stopped for like a solid five to 10 minutes, and it was hot. Like there's no AC in there, and it's like sun beaming down on you. I'm like, all right, like this could take a while. So that was kind of nerve wracking. And I'm also like afraid of heights. I remember when I was a kid, I couldn't go to the third floor of Rideau Center and look down. Like that's how afraid of heights I am. I'm a little stressed. How do you feel right now? Stressed? What? We hide. I think you need to sit away from the door. Please sit in the middle, Fran. What's the first thing we're doing when we get up there? Getting a drink. Celebratory drinks for wine. Yeah. Cheers. End of trip. So it's kind of funny because we originally wanted to do the suspension bridge in like where was it North Van or something yeah, North Van, yeah. and turns out there is a suspension bridge here look so we're gonna be doing this guy like the suspension bridge like I know it's not gonna fall but it's still like kind of terrifying for me but it was really nice and it the thing is it was like windy up there and that thing I don't know if we caught it on camera that thing sways let me tell you so and I was also wearing a dress like maybe not the most appropriate thing to wear on a like windy suspension bridge ready
get to the top of the suspension bridge. View is friggin' on real. Um, I'm going to be in Toronto as of next weekend. So if we do something fun, I'll be sure to videotape it and vlog it. And stay tuned for weekly videos. Comment down below what you wanna see. Like and subscribe, thanks.